people! This is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today. As always, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the notification center icon on your Mac. Alright, I'm starting this tutorial in Photoshop, but you don't need Photoshop at all. All you need is a PDF file that's 75 by 42 pixels, so you can make that in a free app like GIMP, or even download an image from Google and convert it to a PDF if you want. And I actually just made a video on how to convert any file to a PDF, so I'll link that on the screen right now. But I'm going to whip up something quick here. Let's do the COD 4 star, and ideally you'd want to fill up the entire canvas with your icon for the best results, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it simple. And like I mentioned earlier, the image file needs to be in a PDF format. Then, once you have your PDF file, you want to navigate to your hard drive, go into the system folder, then core services, then you want to scroll down to the system UI server app or icon, I'm, I'm not sure what you would call it, package, and then you want to right click on it and select show package contents, go into the contents folder, then resources, and in that folder you want to find the file that says menu item normal dot pdf. Now, it's always best to back up these system files before you change them, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this to my desktop. And then I'll rename it to something else, and it's important that you give your new notification center icon the exact same name. Then we're going to copy and paste that new icon into our resources folder, and we'll go ahead and give it the authorization. And finally, we want to open up Activity Monitor. This is the task manager equivalent for Macs. And you want to find the system UI server process and click the kill all button. And then you should instantly see your new notification center icon active in the menu bar. And of course, none of the functionality is impacted by changing the icon. It works exactly the same as it did before, except now it just has little flair. So that about wraps up this tutorial. If you guys get stuck in any step or need any help, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.